Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today I have 5 ideas for you if you are like me, who creates YouTube thumbnails using Filmora. There are things we can't change that your thumbnail is your YouTube first impression. A potential viewer must be impressed by your thumbnail to become part of your audience, and mostly, viewers will look at thumbnails before they even read the title of your video. So it is important to make your thumbnails as engaging as possible. So the mission is, by the end of this video you will be able to use this Filmora in creating thumbnails that really stand out. So on these 5 ideas guys, I will start from the least to the best, and at the end I will give a bonus tip. So make sure to watch to the end of the video so that you won't lose the best idea and the bonus as well. Well, am I sounding something you like? Then support the channel by subscribing. Let's get straight to number 5. Matching the colors. Now, for any thumbnail to stand out, it must have matching colors. Let's say you are trying to match this kind of a text. You are trying to figure out which image you can put behind that will match with other text color. Instead of trying to take these sample colors like this, there is a best way to do that. Duplicate the text like this then go advanced. Press these texts and delete all of them. Then press here to add these text box. Delete the text inside. Now you can customize these ones to a certain specific color. So let's say your other text will be of this color. If we come back here, you will find that we have four intermatching colors and we can customize them like this. And color matching is done. Well, guys, moving with the lists, after watching all of the ideas, write in comments, which idea have you liked the most? The next one, which is number four, is quality. The first thing is resolution. The first thing I will mention here is the aspect ratio. You should always watch for this, otherwise you will create something like this, or like this. So what you have to do is to keep these figures here at 16 as to 9, that's the aspect ratio. When taking your screen capture, there are things to consider in order to make your thumbnail of the best quality. Firstly, when you come here to screen capture, Filmora will ask you if you want to save your image either in PNG or JPG format. So you choose PNG for better quality. The secondly, if you set your project settings at 1920 by 1080 or it's a 1280 by 720, you then have to make it 3840 by 2160, that's 4K and go for 60 FPS. As we are going down with the list, we are now on number 3, and that is saying use the paid effects for free? Yes for free. When using the Filmora paid effects, and you don't have a paid subscription, Filmora won't export them. <coughs> So the restriction is on exporting not on capturing a screenshot. For example, let me take this effect, which is a paid effect, and that a human border. And by the way, take note of the human border effect, it's one of the most important tools. Here is a thumbnail that I created. So this border you are seeing here, was this human border effect. So you can drag and drop it. When it pops up a warning like this, then you can press here. There will be no restrictions to that. Not only this effect, but you can also use other effects which you may see fit to your thumbnails, without any restriction. Down to number 2. Here I have arrows. When creating thumbnails guys, don't forget the arrows. They play very important part in making the viewer understand your thumbnail. Now you can put any kind of an arrow on your thumbnails in Filmora. The first option to that is here. Press this button here and go elements. Go again to this folder, Arrows. You will find many of them. If you want to change the color, you can go Color Correction and customize these adjustments until you get the color you want. The other thing, let's say you will need this color for other thumbnails. You can press here to save this kind of color correction so that you won't have to keep color correcting. Then the next way, which can be the best if you don't want the color correction process. Go sample color, drag and drop the image with the color you want. Go effects and drag the image mask to your image. Then go image effects, you will see this appearing here. On the mask shapes, chose this one here, that's the arrow. 
Then you can customize the size and direction according to your thumbnail makeup. Since our sample colors are limited, if you want another color but which is not one of these sample colors here, it's simple. Just add a text, so that we can use that method if we use on matching colors. Go text advanced, delete all this. Press here to add this text box. Scroll down to here. Then you can choose the color you want from here. Or you can move this tool like this to get your very specific color of your choice. Delete this text. Let's check out number one. Background removing tools. On almost every thumbnail making, we need a background removing tool if you will also check those videos which having many clicks per hour, check their thumbnails, you will find out that the background removing tools were at work. So now I am going to show you all of them in Filmora and how you can use them. The first one is human segmentation. Go effects, AI portraits. Then drag human segmentation effect. The background of the image will be automatically removed. This is also a paid effect which in this case you can use for free, as we have discussed earlier. The second option is here, go effects again, press utility, there are these two effects, the one removes the white background and the other removes the black. Then the third is the chroma key. It's very simple to use chroma key, double click the file, then press this box. Then you can use this tool here to click and remove the background of your file. Now on this, the subject on your file must have a complete difference from the background in color, because chroma key will remove everything that have the same color as the background. Bonus. Here is the bonus guys texts on thumbnails. If there is something that you have to be very careful of. So what's my tip on this, if you can't find the font of your choice in Filmora, you can search online, free fonts, you will find many of them. And if you have liked any of them, you can press download. After that you can follow your file in your PC, then install your fonts, and it will automatically show in Filmora. So mine will not show until I restart my Filmora. I want to give a huge thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for supporting guys. I never thought I would get all of you. Keep following and helping to share the content.